The best part about building your own furniture is that you can totally customize it to whatever you want. And that's really what we're doing today. So we love sliding barn door hardware. We decided to turn that into a nightstand. Yeah, and it's something that you can't just go out and buy. You gotta build it. You gotta build it. So that's what we're doing today. Here we go. Okay. Here's what you need to build a sliding barn door nightstand. A three quarter inch sheet of four by eight plywood, a quarter inch sheet of four by four plywood, one one by four by 10, one one by four by eight, one one by two by eight, and a three quarter inch by half inch piece of trim. You'll also need barn door hardware, one and a quarter inch brad nails, one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws, and wood glue. We've made all of our cuts before. We've also added our pocket holes. Be sure to get the free plans from our site to figure out where to put your pocket holes. You can also have the hardware store rip your plywood for you or check out our other video to see how to cut it at home without a table saw. You just need a few pieces of plywood. <laughs> Just a few real light pieces. I'm gonna get these because Whitney's with child and she's not <laughs> supposed to be doing that in her condition. I'm milking this, guys, as long as I can. The first step is to build the box for our nightstand. Mark from the bottom of the side pieces of the nightstand at two and three quarters. Now we're gonna start by attaching the bottom piece of our nightstand to the two side pieces of our nightstand. Awesome. And we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Right now, we have our sides and our bottom of our box. Now we're gonna add our shelf. And I'm leaving 3 quarters of an inch gap right in the front. And then right there, that's your quarter inch gap. That that's where the back of the table is gonna fit in. Now, why do we have a 3 quarter inch gap in the front? I don't know, it's tell me. Because we're gonna put a piece of trim right there. This plywood right here is not very pretty when it's, when it's stained. You can see the side grains on it. We're gonna put a piece of trim right on there and it's gonna cover that, but we gotta leave room for it. Okay. We have our box, we have our bottom, our sides, and the shelf built. Now we're adding a small one by two runner and this will be a brace for the back of the table. Now it's time to build the face frame so we can cover up the ugly sides of the plywood. We're going to attach two one by four pieces to two one by two pieces. Glue is important, but don't go overkill because when we get those boards put together, it'll seep out and it's not real pretty when it sticks. Put in the comments below how many pregnant women you've seen with a tool belt. <laughs> it's expandable, that's the great news. <laughs> <laughs> we have to nail our face frame in, so we have our box, but let's go ahead and lay it flat. And we're going to attach that with wood glue and one and a quarter inch brad nails through the top and make sure the whole entire thing is flush with the cabinet. Okay, let's set it up straight. So How now, pretty. isn't it pretty? We're almost there. We're gonna put base trim on the bottom of this nightstand, attach it with one and a quarter inch brad nails and wood glue. cover up the front of that shelf, that plywood. Now we're gonna flip the nightstand upside down and we're gonna lay it on top of the top of the nightstand. And don't forget the placement of where you're gonna put these pocket holes is on our plans. Now we're just gonna attach that back. Okay. And this is where you're gonna see why we left that quarter inch gap on the back. Right there, that's why. You're not gonna see the backing. So now we're gonna flip it over to do, are we doing the top trim now? Uh, yes, now okay. we need to do the top trim. Where do you want it? Um. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Now we're building the door. This is just simply one by four boards lined up flush together and attached through the pocket holes with one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws. All right guys, and while Ashley's finishing up all of these pocket hole screws, be sure to go click the bell. We want to make sure you get notified every time we have a new video. Barn door done. Check. Once we have this door up here, you can see that it'll just slide back and forth. All we gotta do is get some stain on it and then put our beautiful barn door hardware on Which it. 
By the way, if you want to know how to build your own custom sliding barn door hardware, you can check out our other video. We show you how to build it for only $20. But we're going to get this wrapped up, get it in the house, and we are done. We're ready for stain, some hardware, bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, bada sliding barn door hardware, door nightstand.